Yeah, the recommended score for this stage is, uh... 7,500? Yeah, about that. Oh, right, Rainbow Road. <laughs> We've made it this far, guys. We can continue the parodies as long as we can. Alright, so what else has the Italian plumber done recently? Well, they had a carding game. Brilliant! You're suggesting we do a... a carding game with Bomberman? Uh, we'll work on that on a later gen, but right now we can just copy its main focus, the Rainbow Road. Uh, sir? We can do it! Honestly, I do not like this stage. Because, uh, trying to five it means we have to kill both of these little... I feel like I could be here all day if I continue this. But we can do it. They have a semi kind of predictable pattern. Just got to kind of try to figure out where they're going to dive at you and where they're going to come up from. Alright. Yeah, we're not getting here real fast. We'll fight them as we go. Oh, come on, guys. Nope. Dick Dastardly. Oh, hey, we killed one. I mean, of course we'd kill one. I knew I could do it. Yay! I think those were the only ones in the stage. I could be terribly wrong, but we'll find out as we keep going. Oh, and the Wily bot's the one that does this in. Right, a few more... S a few more Dick Dastard leads. Right, I'm gonna kill some knives, just try to make up a score somewhere. Just like before, these knives aren't worth it, but we're gonna do it anyway. Ooh, no. Oh. Oh. We almost died. I did it! Yay! And we move on to Area 3, and I know what you're wondering. How come we haven't had a nitrous fight yet? Oh, right. Now we'll fight Nitros. Also, real quick, once again, we're in the frozen tundra jungle area, got that middle of the mountains, but how do we go from Rainbow Road to Mazom Dome? <sighs> Whatever. I have a question for you, Bomberman. What, how'd you get, I don't know how I got here myself. We can't find the last disc. Do you have it? When we have that disc, we can insert Jar Jar Binks into every single Star Wars movie. <gasps> I will never give it to you! I'll defeat you and get that disc. George Lucas demands it. For the fate of Episode 7 and 8 with Jar Jar, I must do this. Oh, he doesn't have his... He doesn't have his uh, force field this time. I think if I remember correctly... The, uh... Oh! There's actually remains of his scarf on the ground. I've never noticed that. Okay, those aren't the destructo discs, those are the flame tiles. Alright, oh, he does line bomb. Oh, shit. It's the only reason why this fight is a little bit annoying is because of that line bomb that he does. So make sure we keep a good distance from us. Okay, wow. We... 
Whoa, hello. Oh, we did it. But let me guess. 7,000 is the magic number. Am I right? Am I right? 7,000? Oh, snap! 65! Bomberman. Huh? <gasps> Princess Billion! There are three more discs like that one. They are hidden somewhere in this dome. What is Garadin going to do with these discs? It's actually a very good question, one that we haven't really found the answer to yet. Something big is going to happen. I can feel it. You can rescue me later. Um, okay. Find the other three discs. Hurry. <laughs> Harmon's like, okay. I'm not going to question anything that just happened. <laughs> sure, let's go find the other disc and forget rescuing the princess. Pretty sure there's a very good reason why those discs were kept on this base, never to be seen again. But then again, if the discs have been there the entire time, how the hell was the last disc on Primus Star? Alright, now that we're refilled on health, we can actually tackle the rest of the Mazon Dome, which I actually rather enjoy. We get three very unique rooms, which is a pretty good way to finish off the normal stages of the game. We also get this pretty cool, um, I guess hub room, if you will, that you only see once. You never see this hub room again, unfortunately, which is honestly kind of sad. Uh, once you've done the air, zero gravity, and mirror courses, um, when you start the stage over, you skip the hub world altogether. Which is a crying shame, because I actually do rather enjoy the, uh, the hub. It kind of sets the whole Mazome Dome setting pretty well. Alright, so an air room. Oh, hey, Snidely and Whiplash. We have to travel up this great shaft by using the transportation methods of air currents. Now the point of the Mazone levels is we have to locate the secret guardian, or yeah, Garadin discs. Ooh, we went really high on that one. And once we locate them, we then need to make our way to the exit. Then and only then can we actually make our way out and try to figure out exactly what Garadin is up to. Ah, oh, man. In saying that, though, trying to five this one in particular is a little bit annoying. We've got a lot of running back and forth that we have to get done. Just so we can ensure that we are hitting our mark. Nope. Even it's annoying when you miss the crystals just by a, a pixel. You have to redo everything again. Ow! Snidely! So, right there is the exit, but as you can see, we still need the discs, but, which means we can't continue until we get it. My memory of this course isn't what it used to be, so I don't really remember what the objective number that we're looking for is. Uh, that seems to be a... Well, solid number. I and mean, we already know we're gonna have 50 more thanks to the Adok Bomb.
Hey, that was right. Alright, now we're gonna move on to... Honestly, I can rank my favorite rooms of the Mazan Dome from last to first. I really don't like Air Room. Zero-G Room is always fun, but Mirror Room is by far my favorite. Look at that lovely Before We Fight Nitros noise again. Alright. Missing just... Alright! The Paper Airplane Enemies! Which they do count for points, so I hope they're like every other point-based enemy that's not really required half the time. Also, we've got one more Adoc Bomb left. And what happens when we collect all of them? Nothing. <laughs> that's why I'm trying to five every stage, so they actually do do something. First part of Zero G Room is pretty mundane, pretty basic. I always wondered what those platforms are supposed to be made out of. They honestly remind me of the uh, the platforms you encounter in uh, Panic Puppet Zone from Sonic 3D Blast. I also thought they reminded me of like you know like ball pits. But as our two-way communicator with our helpful friend Pi, by... Hey, buddy. Hey, Brain Slug. We actually need to hit this giant switch. Throw a bomb at this switch to jump higher. Okay. And now, Zero-G! Not really Zero-G, per se. More like, I guess, moon physics. But it's still cool. The only downside is that uh, everything is now slower because of zero gravity. Ooh. I think the frame rate also just takes a significant drop because of this course. There's our last attic bomb. Come on, I just ooh, I don't want to jump that high. Yeah, we kind of had a feeling the disc was there just because Ah, uh, the enemy phased out of existence. Alright, Bomberman, I know we're in zero gravity, but that doesn't mean you can take forever and a half to do your stuff. Ugh. Come on. Line up the shot. There you go. Yay! We did it! We have every single Adoc Bomb! Hooray! Don't mean anything, though. <laughs> Go, 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 go! Disc! Whee! Ah, I missed everything. That's fine, though. We did it! 